أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters just a reminder for myself for everyone out there remember your purpose in this dunya we are here my brothers and sisters to worship Allah عز وجل shaytan's purpose is to make us forget that shaytan's purpose he wants us to be in the hellfire with him <clears throat> he whispers he invites day and night he beautifies this dunya for us he makes our love for this dunya exceed the love for the akhirah and how he does it shaytan has his own tactics but his main agenda is for us to fall in love with dunya fall in love with money fall in love with materialism things and once we fall in love we forget about Allah we forget about the akhirah and we take the deen for granted and we take this dunya we give our loss for this dunya my brothers and sisters every single thing you have there is no one in this dunya whether it be the kings whether it be the rulers whether it be the rich of the rich whether it be the most powerful there is no one Allah did not put this person in this position I have nothing but what Allah has given me the kings have nothing but what Allah has given them the people with nothing Allah put them in that situation the people with everything Allah put them in that situation the wealthy Allah gave them the wealth the healthy Allah gave them the health you need to understand my brothers and sisters do not walk around this dunya with pride and ego and think that you have what you have is from your own hand it's not correct don't look down on others don't think you're better than others don't think brother i'm bigger i'm stronger i'm richer than this person Mata'alli your nose on people my brothers and sisters the very very first sin shaitan committed a lot of brothers and sisters i don't know this it wasn't that he disobeyed allah it was the fact that he had tukabbur he had ego he had pride he said i'm better than adam alayhi salam khalaqtani min nar wa huwa min teen I'm better than him. Before Allah commanded him, he had in his heart, shaitan had in his heart, I'm better. And that's the problem today. The problem today is when someone gets status, when someone gets wealth, when someone gets fame, they look down on others, they, they, they raise their nose on others, they think they're better and they live their life for this dunya. And everyone is like a rat race. Everyone's chasing dunya. We're forgetting about the akhirah. We have nothing, I have nothing, you have nothing but what Allah Azza wa Jal has given you. We are nothing without Allah. And we got nothing but what Allah has given us. From my own hand, I have nothing. Who I am today, I am nothing but what Allah has made me. What I have today, nothing from my hand, my brothers and sisters. Everything I have is from Allah. You have to have this mentality. You have to have this mentality, my brothers and sisters. There was a hadith where the man used to walk with his left foot and his right foot. He used to say, Alhamdulillah, and Astaghfirullah. The man said, this man understood his deed. Why? What's the moral of that? Of that story? What's the moral of that? Alhamdulillah, all praises to Allah. And Astaghfirullah, he was still humble enough to say Astaghfir. So the man was humble and he was still repenting at the same time. That's the whole moral of that hadith. So my brothers and sisters, don't forget. We all forget. Shaitan's job is to make us forget. We are here to worship Allah. Don't walk around boastful. Don't walk around with an ego. Don't walk around thinking you're better than anyone. You have what you have from what Allah has given you. Nothing is from your hand. I know multi-millionaires today in the construction industry. That man can't even write his name in English. They've come off the boat from Lebanon, from other countries, from China. You tell him write something in English, he can't write it. He can't even fill out his own checks. Allah put him in that situation. You see that you hear the stories, you hear the dropouts, you hear the biggest, you think they're miracle stories, how people succeeded. Well, how did he get there? Well, I heard he didn't even finish uni. I heard this, I heard. Allah give Allah's the one that blesses my brothers and sisters. Don't think this person's a shatur, he's smart. There are people that come from different countries. There were doctors, there were professors that had high ranking jobs in their countries. They come here, they're cleaners. Allah put them in that situation. Everything is from Allah. 
Remember my brothers and sisters We are here to worship Allah That's it Be humble Remember I'm here to worship Allah Don't let this dunya deceive you Remember your purpose my brothers and sisters This reminder is for myself Because we all forget And the reason why we all forget Is because we are distracted The reason why we're distracted We have an enemy the enemy is shaitan. His job is to distract us. His job is to make us love dunya. When we love dunya, when we forget akhirah, we become the victims of dunya. And we die for dunya, my brothers and sisters. So, my brothers and sisters, remember, you're here to worship Allah Azza wa Jal. Fulfill your obligations to Allah Azza wa Jal. And when you're with Allah, you'll never lose. Never anyone has lost when they put their faith and they, and they worship Allah. It's actually the opposite. Those that forgot Allah, those that forgot their purpose in this dunya, they're the losers. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide the entire Ummah to the deen of Islam, to give us the strength to fight against our temptations and our desires and to fight shaitan, and to grant us all Jannat al-Firdaus. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.